It's logical to think that your eyes show you everything, but the reality is attention plays a huge part in what you actually see. Here's an example of what I mean. This is a test of selective attention. Count how many times the players wearing white pass the basketball. How many passes did you count? The correct answer is 15 passes. But did you see the gorilla? <coughs> this video is from... that some people don't see the gorilla is because of inattentional blindness. Inattentional blindness, also known as perceptual blindness, is an event where the affected person doesn't see new and unexpected things that suddenly appear in their visual field. In this discussion, I'll present aspects of inattentional blindness, real life scenarios affected by inattentional blindness, and how to avoid and overcome it. Now we're going to talk about three key elements to inattentional blindness. These three elements are attention, knowledge, and concentration. Attention is defined as the active state of applying your mind to something. Knowledge. Knowledge is the fact or condition of being aware of something. Concentration. Concentration is applying focus that applies to the brain's ability to concentrate. Missing any of these factors can can contribute directly to inattentional blindness. So if you aren't paying attention, or you aren't aware of something, or you aren't concentrating on your task, inattentional blindness can be more common. Now let's consider two real life examples of inattentional problem inattentional blindness and the problems it might cause. Example one. I read an article about distracted driving and intentional blindness. The article explained that drivers using cell phones fail to see something right in front of them because they are running on lower working memory capacity or the ability to focus, to focus attention when and where it is needed. A cell phone is a distraction to the driver, which lowers the ability to focus on the road like we noted above, attention, concentration, and awareness are critical factors in avoiding intentional blindness. Car driving is a complicated activity, so you need all the focus you can get. Anything you can do to eliminate multitasking in the car, like texting and driving, is important for everyone's safety. This is a perfect example of trying to limit intentional blindness in our everyday lives. Example two. Imagine yourself in a baseball game. You're standing in the outfield not paying any attention to the game. Instead, you're watching kids on the playground. And all of a sudden, the ball flies over your head. You go to get it, but you don't know where to throw the ball. Instead of throwing the ball to the correct base, you throw it to the pitcher. Now, this can cost you a baseball game when, while a car accident can cost you your life. Hopefully after watching this presentation, you have learned a little something about inattentional blindness. And now you know that what we see and don't see isn't only about our eyes and our vision. It has a lot to do with our mind and our ability to pay attention. Here's another video that proves that inattentional blindness is so powerful sometimes you can't control it. Hi, I'm Richard, this is Sarah, and we're going to perform the amazing Color 
ever-changing card trick with this blue back deck of cards. Now the idea is very simple. I'm just going to spread the cards in front of Sarah and ask her to push any card towards the camera. Right, okay, let's see. I'm going to go for this card here. Okay. Now Sarah could have selected any card at all from the deck, but she selected the card which is now face down on the table. What I'm going to ask her to do is show us which card she selected. Right, so the card that I chose was in fact the Three of Diamonds. The Three of Diamonds, okay, excellent choice. That card goes back into the deck. Now I'm just going to spread the cards face up on the table. Do a little click of the fingers. And you'll see that Sarah's card here has now got a blue back. Not particularly surprising, what's slightly more surprising is all of the other cards have got red backs. And that is the amazing colour changing card trick. Hi, I'm Richard. This is Sarah, and we're going to perform the amazing colour-changing card trick with this blue-backed deck of cards. Now the idea is very simple. I'm just going to spread the cards in front of Sarah and ask her to push any card towards the camera. Right, okay, let's see. I'm going to go for this card here. Okay. Now Sarah could have selected any card at all from the deck. But she selected the card which is now face down on the table. What I'm going to ask her to do is show us which card she selected. Right, so the card that I chose was in fact the Three of Diamonds. The Three of Diamonds, okay, excellent choice. That card goes back into the deck. Now I'm just going to spread the cards face up on the table. Do a little click of the fingers. And you'll see that Sarah's card here has now got a blue back. Not particularly surprising, what's slightly more surprising is all of the other cards have got red backs. And that is the amazing colour changing card. And that is the end of my presentation of inattentional blindness.